Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Top four answers on the board. Name a sport with little balls. Christy. Golf. Golf. Wow. Miss K, name a sport with little balls. Tennis. Tennis. <laughs> Dwayne, name a sport with little balls. You go with pool, Steve. Pool, yeah. Yeah. I got one answer left. Marie, you give me that one answer, your family wins the game. If it's not there, still alive. No strikes. Name a sport with little balls. Racquetball. Right answer. <laughs> Racquetball. <laughs> All right, Heather, one ounce left, you can win it. Name a sport with little balls. Baseball. This is for the win. Baseball. <laughs> you got two strikes. If it's there, you win the game. You can go and relax, Miss K. Thanks, Steve. No, it's, it's, this is it. You got two strikes. It ends right here. You got it. If it's there, you win it. If it's not there, the other family can steal and play sudden death. Christy, name a sport with little balls. I'm going to go with ping pong. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. This is for the win. Looking for ping pong. Top eight answers on the board. Name something lovers have within reach when taking a bath together. Bubble bath. Bubble bath. <laughs> Towel. Towel. Then, Koya? Something lovers have within reach when taking a bath together. Champagne. Yeah. 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 yeah, for you to just throw that answer out. <laughs> yeah, you've been in the bubble bath, huh? Wanted to. Yeah, champagne. I would have never said that. Yes. That's all. Hey, hey, hey. Good hey. answer. Yes! <laughs> Champagne! <laughs> you stop all that clapping. I got it. <laughs> all right, B, here we go. Name something lovers have within reach when taking a bath together. I would say chocolate. Yes! Strike. Name something lovers have within reach when taking a bath together. I'm gonna say candles. Yeah, candles. <laughs> okay, Shonda. 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 Name something lovers have within reach when taking a bath together. I want some music, Steve. I want to set the mood. <laughs> music. <Okay>. Music. <laughs> Melvin, we got two strikes Noah's family can steal. Robes. Robes. Yeah. Robes! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 something oh. lovers have within reach when taking a bath together. Soap. Cut all this stuff off in this water now. <laughs> Number three. Each other. Top four answers on the board. Here we go. Name a chore 
around the house where using gloves is a good idea? Dishes. Dishes. Cleaning the toilet. Cleaning the toilet. We're gonna play. <laughs> Miss Felicia, give me a chore around the house. We're using gloves. A good idea. The stove, Steve. Huh? Cleaning the stove. Cleaning, yeah. cleaning the That's stove. <laughs> Kevin, give me a chore around the house. We're using gloves. It's a good idea. Taking out the trash, Steve. Taking out the trash with the gloves on when you was 10. <laughs> All right, come on now. We got to be careful. We got two strikes. Kenny, if it's there, we still alive. But if it's not there, the other family can steal and they will get a chance to play sudden death. Washing walls. <laughs> <laughs> You think you rarely clean the stove. When last time you walked around the house washing walls? <laughs> Family, I got the deal for you. We got two answers on this board. I need one of them. If you give me one answer, your family steals, your family plays sudden death. But if that answer's not there, the other family wins this game. Name a chore around the house where using gloves is a good idea. Gardening. What? Gardening. Gardening! <laughs> Number four. Top seven answers on the board. We asked 100 single women. Tell me a reason you might nickname your date Steve Harvey. Because he's fine. Because <laughs> he's fine. Uh, she's tall. He's tall. <laughs> oh, he. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's it. okay. He's bald. He's bald. Yeah. <laughs> Marie. He's funny. He's funny. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. Hundred single women. Tell me a reason you might nickname your date Steve Harvey. Because he dresses well. He dresses well. Yeah. Hey, Christy, tell me a reason you might nickname your date Steve Harvey. Because he's rich. Because <laughs> he's rich. Miss K, tell me a reason you might nickname your date Steve Harvey. Because he's respectable. Mama raised me like that. She, is, she was a good woman. She in heaven watching right now, and I got to do it even to this day. That's right. Because I'm respectable. <laughs> Dwayne, tell me a reason you might nickname your date Steve Harvey. Because he's got a big old mustache. Because he got a mustache. Women, tell me a uh, reason you might nickname your date Steve Harvey. Because his name is Steve. Because <laughs> <laughs> his name is Steve. Uh, <laughs> that was a good answer, though. <laughs> Miss Heather, two strikes, got to be careful, Nebo family can steal. Because he has a nice car. Because he got a nice car. Yeah. Single woman, tell me a reason you might nickname your date Steve Harvey. Because he's famous. Because he's famous. Yeah! 
number six. Hi, Silhouette. That surprised me. <laughs> number five, please. Top four answers on the board. Name a place you love going to that you hope never goes out of business. Steven. The bar. The bar. <laughs> the movies. The movies. Hey, Dennis. Name a place you love going to you hope never goes out of business. Well, I'm gonna speak from experience. Come on. The casino. <laughs> Amen. Casino! <laughs> Jason, name a place you love going to you hope never goes out of business. To the hotel. Like you to the, the hotel! hotel. Come on, family, we're going too fast now. We got two strikes. Name a place you love going to that you hope never goes out of business. My favorite restaurant, Steve. My favorite restaurant? Your favorite restaurant! Hey, hey. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, two strikes. If it's there, we're still alive. But if it's not there, the other family this time, they can steal and win. To Disney World. Yeah. To Disney World! Yeah. Michael. Yes. Two strikes. One answer left. You give it to me, your family wins this game. If it's not there, the other family can steal and they win the game. Michael, name a place you love going to you hope never goes out of business. Um... <laughs> All right, family, this situation. I got one answer left. You give me that one answer, your family steals, your family wins the game. If it's not there, the other family gets to play sudden death. Name a place you love going to that you hope never goes out of business. We're gonna say the strip club. Good answer. This is for the win. Strip club! Number two. Oh. Top four answers on the board. And we asked 100 men, fill in the blank. I'd love to become a professional blank. Darwin. Football player. Football player. We're going to play. <laughs> Reggie, we ask 100 men fill in the blank. I'd love to become a professional blank. Movie star. Professional movie yeah. star. Yeah. Jaleesa, 100 men fill in the blank. I'd love to become a professional blank. Musician. Professional musician. Lewis. Yes, sir. They took all your answers. They did. <laughs> I can tell by the look on your face. <laughs> but let's dig deep, Lewis. Fill in the blank. I'd love to become a professional blank. Game show host. Good answer. Good answer. I ain't mad at you, boy. Game show host. I got two answers left. You give me one of those answers, we still alive. But this time, you've got two strikes. If it's not there, the other family can steal and win the game. Dancer. A professional dancer. dancer. Yes. Yeah.
Yeah. <laughs> Our dad sucked. <laughs> well, you know something? This turned out to be a little more difficult than I thought. I got two answers, family. Give me either one of those answers. Your family steals, y'all gonna win this game. If it's not there, the other family gets a chance to play sudden death. We asked 100 men, fill in the blank. I'd love to become a professional blank. We're gonna say a porn star. <laughs> Top five answers on the board. Name someone Cinderella probably discusses with her therapist. The witch. The witch. The elves. Huh? The elves. My man. Let's go. The elves. Good hell, well, these big ass don't know no nursery rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay? Her stepmother, Steve. Her stepmother. Yeah, yeah. 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 Good play, good play. <laughs> <laughs> Name someone Cinderella probably discusses with a therapist. I'm gonna go with her stepsisters. Yeah! Her stepsisters. Hey, Donna. Name someone Cinderella probably discusses with a therapist. Prince Charming. Yeah! yeah. Prince Charming. <laughs> we got no strikes. Daniel, give me somebody Cinderella probably discuss with a therapist. Her, the person that makes her shoes? <laughs> person that makes her shoes. <laughs> The person that makes her shoes. <laughs> All right, we got one strike now, Steve. Name someone Cinderella probably discusses with a therapist. I'm gonna say the guy that drives her coach. The guy that, the guy that drives the coach. <laughs> okay, Lindsay. Name someone Cinderella probably discusses with the therapist. The fairy godmother. Yeah! The fairy godmother. The fairy. Name someone, be, get ready. <laughs> Name someone Cinderella probably discusses with a therapist. I'm gonna go with those talking mice, Steve. Yeah! Some talking mice. <laughs> Top five answers on the board. Name something that's hard to stay up on. Demetrius. A ladder. A ladder. A block. I don't. Oh, a block. A block. <laughs> <Sorry>. A block. <laughs> Uh, Bethany. The news? The news. Play, 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 play. Hey, Christian, come on, man. You ain't got a damn thing right today. Let's go. Name something that's hard to stay up on. Social media. <laughs> Social media. <laughs> Name something that's hard to stay up on. Sleep. 
Okay. Sarah, name something that's hard to stay up on. TV shows. See that? <laughs> TV shows. Did you see that? That don't make you want to go home and tune in. <laughs> TV shows. <laughs> TV shows. <laughs> Oh. All right, we got two strikes. Demetrius got to be careful. Henderson family can still give me something that's hard to stay up on. Uh, friends? What? Friends. <laughs> friends. <laughs> friends. <laughs> All right, here's your chance. Name something that's hard to stay up on. Steve, we're going to go with chores. What? Chores? Chores. Chores! <laughs> 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 Number five. Oh. Number four. Oh. Three. Top seven answers on the board. Steve Harvey said, my Aunt Agnes is so ungrateful, I gave her my Emmy Award, and she said, I wish it was what? I wish... Money. Money. She sure would. <laughs> but you ain't getting none. Money. Steve? Yes, sir. This Steve <laughs> said, my Aunt Agnes is so ungrateful. I gave her my Emmy Award, and she said, I wish it was what? A new house, Steve. A new yeah. house. Yeah. Oh, you want a new house, huh, Aunt Agnes? <laughs> <laughs> a new house. Yeah. Yeah. Michael. Yes. Steve Harvey said, Ma and Agnes so ungrateful. I gave her my Emmy Award. She said, I wish it was what? A new car. New yeah. car. A new car. <laughs> Dennis. Steve Harvey said, Ma and Agnes is so ungrateful. I gave her my Emmy Award. And she, she said, I wish it was what? A new steak dinner or a steak dinner. That, that sound about right. You don't, you must know her, huh? <laughs> Going to get something to eat of another steak. Fifth one today. <laughs> Steve Harvey said, Ma and Agnes is so ungrateful. I gave her my Emmy Award and she said, I wish it was what? A bouquet of flowers, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Some flowers for my Aunt Agnes. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Two strikes. The Moore family can steal. She wants to look fly like you, Steve. She wants a new outfit. She'll never look fly like me. <laughs> Close! Okay. Lady Steve Harvey said, Ma and Agnes so ungrateful, I gave her my Emmy Award, and she said, I wish it was what? Jewelry, Steve. Wish it was jewelry. <laughs> Top four answers on the board. We asked 100 women. I wish my man had better taste in what? China. Clothes. Clothes. Come on, 
on, family. Let's go. Carlos. No, we talked to 100 women. I wish my man had better taste in what? Food. In food. <laughs> Delonte, I wish my man had better taste in what? Women, Steve. Yes. <laughs> better taste in women. <laughs> Cassandra, only one strike. Come on, dog. Talk to 100 women. I wish my man had better taste in what? Cars. Better taste in cars. All right, family, listen to me. We've got two strikes. If it's not there, the other family can steal, win the game, and drive out here in a car. I wish my man had better taste in what? Music. Better taste in music! It don't get no bigger than this. I got two answers on this board. If you give me either one of those answers, your family wins this game, your family drives out of here in a brand new car. We asked 100 women, I wish my man had better taste in what? In friends. Wish my man had better taste in friends.